Alright, Jim, so we are back to talk about some remake, and it's a bit of a different discussion video today, and it's about spoilers and people complaining about spoilers, even though things aren't actually spoilers. I know, kind of strange, but it should make sense as we go on. So what really constitutes a spoiler? So I'm not going to give away anything big in this video, but in Final Fantasy VII, in the original game, the original story, there are big character deaths. Now, for me to say what characters die, that's obviously a spoiler for those that don't want to know that. Now, at the same time, this game is over 20 years old at this point, and if you don't already know what happens or you haven't played it, that's kind of on you if people want to talk about it, but I still try to avoid talking about big things that happen in the story for those that have not played it yet. Also, if I were to talk about, like, data mining info, because with the data mining of the demo, we learned a lot about the main game, and I believe, like, the entire script or, like, the entire dialogue was leaked through the data mining, so if I were to go beat by beat what happens in the story of the remake, that, again, is spoiler territory. So what is not a spoiler? For me and the other people out there with more than a couple of brain cells to rub together, that'd be any sort of public interviews regarding the game or trailers. If the developers want to talk about it in an interview or if a trailer shows it, they want us to know that information. So what we're talking about specifically today are two examples from the Final Fantasy VII Remake subreddit, the one I was actually banned from if you guys didn't know that. And to this day, I'm still not even actually sure what it was that got me banned. I never got an official response or example as to what it was, which sort of gives you an idea of how the mods handle the subreddit, which will be a bit important as we go on. So what we're looking at and talking about first, which is the major part of the video, is I was scrolling the subreddit and seen a post by Naruto Shadow Clone, who's a regular on the subreddit, I see him post all the time, talking about Red 13 being confirmed as a guest character, and that there's going to be more. But his post was actually taken down because it wasn't spoiler tagged, because I guess he referenced Red 13 being a guest character in the title? Which again, as I said before, I disagree with. I don't deem this a spoiler because it is public knowledge. We have Naoki Hamaguchi, who's a co-director for Final Fantasy VII Remake, in an interview letting everybody know... No, he's not a playable character, he is AI, he is a guest character towards the end of the game. Not to mention the theme song trailer where the character was revealed to us, we actually see him fighting in the background during the Genova fight as a guest character. There's no health bar in the bottom right corner, we are not controlling him, he is AI. So in the same trailer where the character was revealed to us, we see him confirmed to be a guest character, so by that logic, we shouldn't even be able to talk about Red 13 at all, otherwise, that's a spoiler. And if you look below the post that was removed, you can see the mod trying to explain why they deemed it a spoiler and why they removed the post. But if you pay attention to the karma or the downvotes, whatever the case, people disagree with them. It's negative. They do not agree with the moderator in this sense. It's not a spoiler. And if you look at some of the replies, you can see the same stuff that I said in the video already. He's in the trailers, been confirmed in an interview as guest character. The moderator tries to follow this up with a response I found laughable and says, What don't you get about it still being a spoiler? Just because it's confirmed in an official interview doesn't mean there aren't people who want to avoid it. And that's what's important here. And what I mean by that is spoilers here are entirely subjective. It's from a person-to-person -person basis on what's deemed a spoiler when it comes to this game. And that's why I think there needs to be sort of a precedent on what is and is not a spoiler, because it's going to vary from person to person. Different people are going to consider different things to be a spoiler. And that's why I believe public information is things that are not spoilers, like trailers and interviews. If it's data mine stuff, if we're talking about things that were found in the files of the game that the developers did not want us to know, yeah, we're in spoiler territory. Or story-based things, like the big moments after the story, the character deaths, things like that. Even though the story of FF7 is like 20 plus years old, I can understand why that is a spoiler. And if you go over and look at the repost that Naruto Shadow Clone did, you see a different moderator trying to defend the first one, but again, people disagreeing with them. Outside of Mouth 19 links to a post from almost two weeks ago when this information was new. And while the post itself does have a spoiler tag, you can see that the title is pretty much the same. It says Red 13 won't be playable, not very different from Naruto Shadow Clone's post saying Red 13 is a guest character. Pretty much the damn same thing. But as was pointed out in Outsider Mouth's comment, if you actually scroll down the entire post, there's not a single person complaining about this being a spoiler. We're talking about a two-week-old post here with like 50-something comments and not a single complaint about it being a spoiler because, again... It's not a spoiler. And that's really the thing here, is every time there's some new information for this game, it gets posted on this subreddit, on other social medias all the time, and people never complain about it being spoilers. There's just this like small pocket of people within the community who don't understand what a spoiler is. And to be clear, this video isn't just about this subreddit, they're just the example we're using. And as I mentioned previously, there should be like a general consensus on what a spoiler is. And for one, if you're somebody who doesn't know the story or don't want things spoiled for you for Final Fantasy VII Remake, why are you on social medias where all they talk about is Final Fantasy VII Remake? There's zero logic there. And while I do agree with not spoiling the story or the big parts of the story for people that did not play the original, we're talking about a small fraction of the community. We're talking about the people that are going to play the remake that never played the original, don't know the story of the original, don't know what happens in the original, have got to be single digit percent, one to nine percent, and that's being generous. I do my best as a content creator to try not to spoil the big parts of the story for people out there, and if I do talk about it, I usually try to give some sort of a spoiler warning in the video, but at the same time, if we couldn't talk about every little thing that some people would consider a spoiler, I couldn't talk about this game at all. 
Anyways, my dudes, that's pretty much the video. It's a conversation I felt like having. I think it's pretty important. And we've all waited so long for this game to be able to talk about the game that we can to this degree. And for those of you out there that are worried about spoilers around every little corner, stay off social media, man. Let us have this moment. This is my favorite game of all time, getting a remake. It's almost here. We're less than a month away. We had like four years of absolute silence where we didn't know what the hell was going on with this game. And I'm just excited to be able to talk about it now. I'm going to talk about it. Either way, that is the video. I'll pass it off to you guys in the comment section. What are your thoughts on spoilers as a whole for Final Fantasy VII Remake? Leave your thoughts and more in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Once you did more Final Fantasy VII Remake content, turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David. I'm a Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys.